So in this example, they're asking you to do division. I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit quickly because you guys should know some fraction operations. Um, but I just want to go through these two problems, and then we're going to go over um, the tests. And well, not the tests, but um, no, we already went over the quiz. We'll go over our two new things today, and then that'll be it. Um, we'll do another two examples. So they're asking you to divide, basically just using synthetic division. So the first thing is, if we're using division, then this is our factor, right? Our divisor, if it has a remainder of 0, is going to be our factor. So when using synthetic division, though, we want to find the 0. So to do that, we do 3x plus 4 equals 0. To solve for x, correct? That is the 0. When using synthetic division, you have to use the 0. When using long division, you can just use the factor as your divisor. Right? OK. So I have negative 4 thirds. Then I want to make sure I take the coefficient, make sure it's in standard form, and I'm not missing any terms. Right? I have all my terms, so that's good. So I do 6, 2, negative 11, and 12. So remember, first term you always bring down, which is the basic one, 6. Then I do 6 times negative 4 thirds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're having problems with fractions, just do it off to the side. Negative 4 thirds times 6. To multiply a fraction times a whole number, what I like to do is rewrite it as a fraction. And when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. Negative 24 over 3. Negative 24 over 3 leaves you with negative 8. 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6. Well, how do I do this again? Negative 4 divided by 3 times negative 6. Now, rather than always multiplying across and simplifying, we can simplify before that as well. 3 divides into 6 two times. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 over 1, which is just negative 8. What? Positive. Oh, positive 8. Thank you. It is positive 8. Then negative 11 plus 8 is going to be a negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 4 thirds, the 3's will divide out. The negatives will turn to a positive. So therefore, it turns into a positive 4, which is 16. So remember, so we have a remainder. So is this a factor? No, it doesn't evenly divide, right? So it's not a factor. It's still a divisor. It's just not a factor. Right? It's still dividing into it, but it just doesn't fact divide into it evenly. So it's actually not technically a factor. What that means is, if this is not technically a factor, this is not technically a 0. That's really not an x-intercept of that graph. Okay? So we're really just dividing. It's like saying, divide 5 into 12. Well, 5 isn't a factor, right? But can you still divide 5 into 12? Yeah, it goes in there two times with a remainder of 2. Okay? So anyways, here's your remainder, constant, linear quadratic. So your final answer is 6x squared minus 6x minus 3. And then remember, always take your remainder divided by your divisor. Done. Final. Fine. OK? No questions.